Megalomania is a one-player strategy game. It may not be much to look at, but it's so challenging it'll have your brain working overtime. You play the role of a god with a tribe of 100 followers with which you must conquer 27 islands spread over 9 eras. an island, you must build new homes and use your technology to maintain and defend the settlements, along with developing weapons to take out the enemy. As you progress through time, your capabilities and technology advance accordingly, so you can work your way up to making state-of-the-art installations and weaponry. Megalomania has some brilliant fight scenes. It's real addictive, and hardened gangsters will find it a real toughie to crack. Move over, Hedgehog, because Bubsy's coming, Bubsy's super fast Jack the Lad type Bobcat who doesn't like to be kept waiting about. The first time you play, He'll win you over with his cute expressions and his wicked one-liners. The cat's destined to be a big star. Watch out! The Woolies are coming! The Woolies are an alien race about to come down and steal all the wool they can. But not if Bubsy can stop them. Bubsy has to collect as many balls of wool as he can because the woolies are everywhere with loads of traps and surprises for him. But Bubsy's too fast for them. Wrong. Bubsy can also do some tasty mid-air maneuvers, and if you get it wrong, he cops it in some imaginative ways. Everything about this game is big, from the levels to the sprites and backdrops. When GB got a super secret advanced copy, Accolade hadn't even finished it, so I can't give you the latest stages. But one thing is for sure, Bubsy the Bobcat is a winner. Axelay is a one-player shoot-em-up, 
probably one of the best on the SNES. Totally mind-blowing, jaw-dropping graphics with end-of-level bosses that have to be seen to be believed. No two levels are the same, and there are three difficulty settings. For a real tough time, don't wimp out. Go for the hardest setting. Our installation is complete. Good luck. Firepower is varied, and the choice of weaponry increases each time you complete a level. Be warned, if you play the US Axel A on a UK machine through an adapter, the picture will break up on level 2. The English version is on sale now, so there's no need to buy an import. GB's tip for Axel A, aim for the center of end of level bosses, except for this cute character, the fire boss, go for the heart. Still with the shoot 'em ups, it's super elastic. The technique for this game is simple keep your finger firmly on the fire button and blast everything in sight. Like Axel A, this game has some really awesome graphics, but where this game betters it is in the firepower department. Laser. There are eight weapons which can be picked up by the ship, and to increase their power, pick up the orange or green eggs that float down. Super LS has 12 levels, twice as many as Axel A. Each level has its own end of level boss. Super Elest's a great choice. Stunning graphics, the choice of music, and awesome firepower. Multiple shots.
started splashing out loads of dosh on games only to find you've clocked them in a couple of hours or days? Well, have no fear, because Lemmings is here. This is one game you won't have that problem with. Lemmings is a one or two player strategy game that will have the most experienced game fiends out there pulling their hair out. Lemmings has 125 levels that start at very easy but end up being very hard. After that, there's five near impossible bonus levels for the real genius players. So be prepared for some late nights. Lemmings are cute little green rodents who don't have much in the brain department. In fact, they're stupid and they depend on you to help them out. You have to get your lemmings from the beginning of each level to the exit. But between the lemmings and the exit, there are hazards, pits, walls, traps, mountains, and much more to get through. At the bottom of the screen, there are eight skills you can give your lemmings to help them tackle the obstacles. As the game progresses, these skills become limited, so use them wisely. Some people may find the controls a bit difficult at first, but once you've got the hang of them and you know what each skill does, you'll be hooked on lemmings. On the two-player mode, the screen is split into two, and you race a friend to see who can get the most lemmings home the quickest. The other thing that makes this game so good is the background tunes. They'll soon have you tapping those toes. GB tip. On the title screen, hold down select. Press start. You'll now be able to listen to any lemmings tune you like.